Welcome back to Funly Talks. Today we will be tackling a concept that can sound a bit daunting. Beta ratio. But hey, don't let the fancy term fool you. Beta simply measures the volatility of a security relative to something, usually a benchmark index. Mutual fund schemes usually have a benchmark index that acts as a reference point. For example, a large cap scheme might compare itself to the Nifty 100, which tracks the performance of large cap companies. And a small cap scheme might correlate with S&P BSE small cap index. Similarly, there will be different benchmark indices for different scheme categories. So before you can understand your scheme's beta, it is necessary that you know its benchmark index. All such information is readily available in the fund fact sheets. So no need to worry about deciphering cryptic codes. Now before we dive deeper, here's a quick rule of thumb. The beta value of benchmark indices is always taken as one. Therefore, if the scheme's beta value is more than one, then the scheme is expected to be more volatile than the market, potentially offering higher returns, but also higher risks. But if the scheme's beta value is less than one, then the scheme is expected to be less volatile than the market, offering potentially lower returns, but also lower risks. Now, if the scheme's beta value is equal to that of the index, which is one, then the scheme is expected to move in line with the market, offering similar returns and risks. Let's understand this with an example. Take an investment called Scheme A. Its beta is 1.1. And we already know that the benchmark's beta is always 1. This means that whenever the benchmark moves up by 10%, Scheme A's value is expected to rise by 11%. Conversely, if the benchmark dips by 10%, its value might fall by 11%. Now, what if we had another scheme named Scheme C with a beta of 0.8? Here, for every 10% rise in the benchmark, Scheme C's value might only rise by 8%. Similarly, a 10% fall in the benchmark might only translate to an 8% fall in the Scheme's value. In this scenario, we can say that Scheme A, with a beta value of 1.1, is expected to be more volatile than the market, potentially offering higher returns, but also higher risks. Whereas Scheme C, with a beta value of 0.8, is expected to be less volatile than the market, offering potentially lower returns, but also lower risks. Remember, beta is just one piece of the puzzle. It's advised not to solely rely on beta ratio to make investment decisions. There are various other parameters that you may take into consideration to make wise choices. So there you have it, beta ratio demystified. Hope this was helpful. And as always, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons to enjoy more such insightful funly talks. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.